Welcome back to the channel and I'd like to welcome all the new subscribers to the channel and uh, continued supporters. Welcome back. Anyway, it's Saturday afternoon. I got out here yesterday and I had a busy day yesterday so I didn't do any filming but we'll pick up where I left off. So I took the tiller and put it on the back of the Super C and I sit there and just let it till all these dirt piles so it makes it easier to shovel and I've got uh, everything backfilled almost all the way around the outside uh, on this side it's both sides except for right this little section here which is not up so we're going to continue on I'm going to break up this pile over here with the Super C so that I can just take and push that over there with a shovel or I may even go get the blade and push it who knows but that's going to be the goal for today is to get that done so I can fill them back fill them the on the outside of the course of brick or course of block I will get it right eventually and that way after that's done then I start putting everything in and if I don't have enough dirt to get everything inside, I'm gonna pull from the garden up here where there's a crown on it. So we're gonna pull from there and finish up what we need. Once all this is done, then we'll be able to do uh, concrete inside the block with the rebar and the J-bolts to anchor the seal plates down. So hopefully within the next two weeks, uh, I have started the coop or we'll be starting to build the coop because chickens are getting bigger. So anyway, let me stop talking and get up here on the Super C and let's start breaking some of this up to make it easy to shovel.
All right, it is about eight o'clock on Saturday night, and I think I got a lot done with the help of my tractor. It's a lot easier when you got a tractor. So, um, like I said, I started, I've got this, I started tamping it and or packing the dirt uh, around the edges and stuff, but I didn't want to go too much on this side because there's no dirt to keep the block from moving in. So I took the tractor, got all this graded and scraped down here and there, and I've got that scraped. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the uh, piles of red clay and rock. I don't know whether I'm gonna put them down here on this end where it's real deep and then take all this dirt here and then put over, the, over that and then pack it. I don't know, we'll figure it out as we go. So, but um, that's it for tonight. We're gonna pick back up uh and finish this up and this will probably be one video i don't know if i'll do the seal plates in this video or not but we'll see but uh anyway i'm gonna go put the tractor up and we'll pick back up in a day or so so stay tuned for the rest of the backfill of the chicken coop good friday afternoon it is may 3rd and got my portable workbench right there with all my tools drop cords and what i need and i've got all my lags in now some of the rebar is still sticking up because that's where i hit a rock and couldn't go no further and i didn't want to pull it back up so what i'm going to do is take a cut off wheel and cut those off so i can put the seal plates on and there's the seal plates and the uh, two by fours to make the flooring for the coop and the decking for the coop so uh we're going to go on to get started and when i'm done i'll come back and show you the progress so we'll see you in just a few good saturday morning and yes i am standing out in the rain uh, I didn't get a chance to come back last night because they were calling for rain and I worked up until dark so and it's done it's square and it's level now some of the boards might have a little bow in them but it doesn't matter because I'm gonna pop a chalk line on one side and make sure that this is straight and square and then what I'm gonna do is work off that line and with my measurements going from this side to that side or whichever. And then that way I know that the coop will be in a straight, straight line. So uh, we're supposed to get rain off and on all week. So I don't know when I'll be back to start on the floor for the coop, but it doesn't matter. I've got plenty to do in the shop to clean up and get ready to uh, put the motor back together for the farm all M. So with the weather like this, I guess I'll be in the shop and we'll do some uh, M videos. I know that there are some people out there wondering what happened to it, but so that's what happened to it. I've been over here. So this is gonna end this part of the coop build. Um, so stay tuned for the next one when we actually start building up and now backfill and predator proof are through as far as down here so thanks for watching welcome again to the channel if you're new and welcome back if you are a continued supporter we'll see you next time either in a farm all m video or a chicken coop video or something else have a great day we'll see you soon